giving a uh, hover the cruise in. Okay. He's down at uh, 1,100.
Copy that. Welcome everybody as you join us live on ABC7.com and our ABC7 streaming apps. Chris Christie up in Air 7 HD as we follow a high speed pur pursuit through South LA. Now this person has crisscrossed a number of freeways. This all started in the Buena Park area after a home invasion. Uh, Buena Park PD pursuing this home invasion suspect up the 5 freeway. Anaheim PD assisting in this pursuit until he got into LA County and now CHP and the, Cal and the uh, LA County Sheriff's Department have been juggling this pursuit. He has been on the 105 and the 110 at various points doing extreme speeds. Eventually on the 110 freeway he got off at Florence, was out of the vehicle and carjacked a new vehicle. The original car was a silver hatchback. Now the suspect is in a black sedan, which you see here approaching this red light, getting off the freeway now at 120th Street. He is at the 105, getting off at 120th, going at a high rate of speed with the airship above him. Those ground units, however, for the time being, have pulled off because, because this pursuit is just too dangerous. Uh, L.A. County Sheriff making that call just moments ago. The driving was too dangerous. They decided they have enough intelligence from the helicopter to try and track him from above for now until they have a better opportunity to catch up with him. But right now, California Highway Patrol is standing back per the request of the L.A. County Sheriff's Department. Now, he's in, some, uh, in an industrial area here in Hawthorne. Uh, coming up on Hawthorne Airport, again, still pushing the pedal to the metal, about double the speed limit as he makes his way down Crenshaw Boulevard. We are only aware of the driver inside of this car, not clear if there was anybody else inside the car when he carjacked this vehicle just about 10 minutes ago. So again, a car, oh, tapping the front bumper there with that SUV at a high rate of speed, now coming up on a little bit of traffic now on Crenshaw Boulevard at 131st. Very aggressive driving, crisscrossing all of these lanes here, and now it looks like that car that he hit is trying to catch up with him. So an SUV tapped there by the rear bumper, and now he's trying to chase this car, which is now under the night sun of the L.A. County Sheriff's Department, again, trying to squeeze through this traffic on Crenshaw Boulevard, going southbound, southbound Crenshaw Boulevard at 75 miles per hour. Another red light coming up here. All three lanes occupied. Let's see if he squeezes by here or jumps the curb. Right now he is in that right lane. It's the black Audi that you see right there with his brake starting to smoke a bit, cutting off into the Mercedes, tapping the bumper there, and another collision. Here comes some more black and whites. More black and whites entering the pursuit now, engaging with this suspect. It looks to be L.A. County Sheriff's Department. We'll try and confirm that in just a second. Now doing close to 100 miles per hour eastbound on Rosecrans Avenue. Turning onto Rosecrans Avenue from Crenshaw at 100 miles per hour. Caught the green light there. Let's see what's up ahead of him here. He's got lots of traffic on Rosecrans. He's weaving across these lanes, trying to evade those two officers behind him. Again, a helicopter above, two black and whites behind him. A pursuit that has crossed over the county line on several freeways at extreme speeds, and those extreme speeds are continuing now in a separate vehicle, which this person has carjacked here in the last 15 minutes. Now, look at this. He is coming up on more traffic, trying to get around here, has no problem tapping these other cars to get them to move out of the way. Slowing down a little bit, as soon as he finds a straightaway, he will press it once again. Again, those L.A. County Sheriff's units having a really difficult time trying to keep up with this suspect. Another near miss right there. And again, he is on a on the run of his life here. This is a dangerous suspect behind the wheel of this Audi. It's a stolen Audi. It is the second vehicle he has carjacked this evening. The original want was home invasion. Look at this. Somebody crossing the street there 
as he passes through. I forget, I did, did not catch that uh, that cross street in any event. We're westbound on Rose, eastbound Rosecrans at, uh, it looks like, into a shopping center now. Into a shopping center. Suspect using that parking lot to come at the other end of Vermont Avenue. Coming back onto Rosecrans in the oncoming lanes of traffic. Going the wrong way on Vermont. Now turning back onto eastbound Rosecrans Avenue. L.A. County Sheriff still with their helicopter overhead calling out the shots for those units on the ground. And now we have some units, Code 3, right behind them. They've managed to catch up with them once again as he gets under the 110 freeway. He's getting onto the 110 off of Rosecrans. Southbound 110 freeway. Southbound 110 freeway at 125 miles per hour. California Highway Patrol being alerted to this pursuit. L.A. County Sheriff still the lead agency in this pursuit. But he is going to run out of freeway here in the next several miles. He's going to be coming up here on the 91 freeway just off the nose. Looking out the window here, he's got a little bit of traffic to contend with in about another half mile to a mile. Some more brake lights on the 110 freeway. Still managing to speed up here at 100 miles per hour. Getting off the freeway. Is that the transition? Getting onto the 91. Getting onto the 91 freeway. Looks like he's making a transition onto the westbound 91 off of the 110 freeway. Another near miss there. Look at this. There's the night sun. Units following him off of the 110 freeway. He's at the end of the 91. Turning off of Artesia, making a U-turn. One, two units, three units, now about to make that U-turn with him as he transitions back onto the 110 freeway. It looks like, or is he is he maintaining? This will put him underneath the 110, under the 110 freeway. Getting off here, fishtailing slightly, taking that exit ramp or transition ramp a little too fast. Now getting onto the, onto the northbound 110, northbound 110 freeway. Ladies and gentlemen, you are watching a dangerous high-speed pursuit now on the northbound side of the 110 freeway. If you're just joining us, this all started in Orange County in the Buena Park jurisdiction, LA, or LA, uh, uh, Buena Park rather, and Anaheim PD chasing the suspect up the 5 freeway into LA County. CHP and the Sheriff's Department chasing him up the 110 freeway before he got off and carjacked another vehicle. Now you see him in this black Audi. He is crisscrossing a number of South LA freeways and is now back on the northbound side of the 110 freeway and is what is nothing less than just a dangerous pursuit. We've seen several collisions already. That looked like, uh, that's still LA County Sheriff's helicopter. I think CHP is on the way out with their ship as well. Two sheriff's units behind him, three actually, three units behind him. Suspect jumping over into the express lane is now using the shoulder to evade some of this traffic. Northbound side in the express lanes of the 110 freeway at upwards of 80 to 90 miles per hour. Close to 100 now.
traffic a little bit lighter as he makes his way further north here and then it's going to pick up once again once he passes the 105 freeway. So he's got a, a somewhat manageable stretch here where he could speed up again, uh, but still you can see a little bit of a, a jam up there and now he's got all four lanes to play with as he comes up on the 105 freeway. And maybe exiting, getting onto the 105. 105 West. Westbound 105. He took the northbound 110 onto the westbound 105 ramp. Now back on the westbound side of the 105. He's retracing his steps here as he has been on both of these freeways in the same area already a couple of times. Now back on the westbound side at 90 miles per hour, heading back towards the west. Another exit ramp here. Getting off the 105. Getting off the 105 back at Vermont. Fixing for a northbound turn around that car. People crossing the street there. And he just whipped around onto the northbound side of Vermont Avenue. Another red light here. He's probably going to run it. Got a red light here. He's making the right on that red. And I don't see those units behind him anymore. We'll see if they've been able to keep up with him. They are setting up for a spike strip at some point, but he has uh, put a kink in those plans as he, I think that was, a, that was before he got off the 110 freeway. So now he's on, on Imperial, coming up on Hooper, a southbound turn on Hooper, Hoover rather. Southbound Hoover under the 105 freeway. There's those units still on the 105. They're going to attempt to get off with them here. I don't know how close the closest unit is, but they are a ways back as he's managed to put some distance between him and those law enforcement units once again. Southbound Hoover just south of the 105 freeway. You see the night sun in the frame there. That is still L.A. County Sheriff continuing this pursuit. And now a turn into a more residential street. That's going to be 119th Street. Units closing in on him now as he comes out on 119th and Figueroa turning south now on Figueroa. We should stress again, we do not know if he is the only person in this vehicle. He quickly jumped into this vehicle and we have no idea whether there's anybody in the backseat of this vehicle, any victims in this car. In any event, this is a carjacking suspect now who has stolen this car in the middle of this pursuit. Continuing the pursuit in this black Audi. Two helicopters, low level, right behind it, right on it, right over him right now. That's going to be, I think, uh, not only L.A. County Sheriff, but that's also LAPD, right? Both sheriff. Two L.A. County Sheriff helicopters now right overhead. You can see the night sun as he approaches 100 or approaches Main Street here on 120th Street. Through a red light. That's San Pedro continuing eastbound 120th. Wild left there through the red, northbound Avalon Boulevard, now going northbound, just kind of making this up as he goes along. No clear destination here. He's obviously just doing whatever he can to lose these units and potentially find a hiding spot to evade those helicopters. In fact, now he's underneath the freeway. He's not coming out. He's not coming out. There's, he's not coming out. He's under the freeway. He's under the freeway, probably dumping the vehicle. He's under the freeway, has not come out the other side. You see a unit following him underneath, and there he is. There he is. He's back on the other side, northbound side of the 105 freeway. Now on 116th with the sheriff's unit right behind him. 
that primary unit now engaging the suspect once again. He's doing circles now underneath the 105 freeway. We've got three units, a primary unit and a secondary unit right underneath the freeway with them, making another turn here. That's going to be 118th Street. These are very narrow residential streets where he is zigzagging his way through. Again, all of this happening here in South L.A. Close call here. Look at this cross traffic coming up on Central Avenue, continuing a northbound turn. Northbound turn onto Central. Again, heading back towards the freeway and taking the freeway. Jumping on the eastbound side, this time going eastbound on the 105 freeway with a full pursuit contingent right behind him. That's all L.A. County Sheriff's units. Three units making their way onto the freeway with him and an additional CHP unit who just happened to be there as well, it looks like. And he is all, again, he's not a part of this pursuit, but he is there maybe to perform a traffic break if they have an opportunity to. We are not seeing anything like that just yet because these speeds are so fast and this pursuit is so erratic. If he stays on the freeway, I would expect at the very least California Highway Patrol will try and isolate this vehicle by starting to create uh, uh, traffic brakes. But right now, it is all up to L.A. County Sheriff's units to keep up with this pursuit. Jumping in the HOV lane at 95 miles per hour. Eastbound 105. It's the same. It's the same, that's the same car, right? Yeah. The uh, the they said Mercedes. They said Mercedes, but that, that he was in the. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We're just yeah, just double checking that. I heard I heard that same thing. Oh no. He's in a Mercedes now. That's a different car. Did he did he carjack somebody else under the freeway? Right. This is a different car. This is a different car. He must have done that under the freeway. That's the only time. All right, we're trying to figure out what has happened here. We've seen two separate cars in this pursuit now, and this is maybe the third car uh, since this pursuit started. As we try and sort that out, he's continuing to do circles in the Willowbrook area now coming up on Compton. He is coming up on Louise Street here as he makes his way through Compton. L.A. County Sheriff behind a new vehicle. This appears to be a Mercedes-Benz, a black Dark silver or gunmetal Mercedes Benz, a four door. We don't know, again, whether there's anybody else inside this vehicle. Something very odd has happened in this pursuit, ladies and gentlemen. Can we re rack that? Christina, are you able to? Christina, are you guys able to re-rack that somehow back there? We want to make sure that we we're positive that was an Audi before. Northbound Alameda. Northbound Alameda. He's got plenty of units now coming towards him. Now making the U-turn going back. Back under the freeway. Under the 105.
Might be somebody in the passenger seat. Scanner. Continuing northbound Alameda into oncoming lanes of traffic now, coming up on a red light. I just heard female driver. Is, is, am I the only one that heard that? Female driver? Is that even possible? Vehicle coming to a stop. Vehicle coming to a stop. One, two, three, four suspects. We're going to follow the driver. Four suspects running from that vehicle. Again, uh, a wild chase here. Now coming to a foot pursuit. Uh, that's going to be Juniper Street, just off of Alameda. L.A. County Sheriff's units with two of those suspects up against the wall. A foot pursuit now with the driver and another passenger. Four units, to four people total in that vehicle. Four people total. And now one of the drivers, the driver, that's going to be the driver at gunpoint. That is the driver at gunpoint. We're going to come around here. L.A. County Sheriff with the driver at gunpoint at Firestone Boulevard and Manchester Avenue. That Mercedes Benz. The other way. Yeah, there's one more guy. Yeah, in there, right in there, right in there. All right. The fourth suspect, at least the fourth that we're aware of has now been cornered here. He is now being taken into custody. He is one of four people that we are aware of inside that Mercedes Benz. That Mercedes is a separate vehicle from the one we joined you with at the top of our coverage. That was an Audi. At some point, the driver of that Audi made his way into a Mercedes with four other people who have now jumped out near Firestone and Manchester. A lot of puzzle pieces to put together here, but a wild, wild chase coming to an end, and thankfully nobody was seriously hurt. We've seen a number of minor collisions in this pursuit, none of them serious. Fortunately, nobody hurt, at least four suspects in custody. A lot of blanks to fill in here, but uh, just an incredible, incredible pursuit coming to an end here in Southgate, Southeast LA rather. So as we start to get a clearer picture of, of what, we're, what we've witnessed here, uh, just to, to recap, you're looking at the intersection of Firestone Boulevard and Manchester where this pursuit has come to an end with the Mercedes-Benz coming to a stop, four suspects jumping out of the vehicle, at least that we are aware of. There was a foot pursuit. It appears all four are now being taken into custody. Moments ago, an Audi driven by a carjacking suspect stopped underneath the 105 freeway. We then followed a Mercedes come out the other side of that overpass and the pursuit continued. Now, we were already on the second vehicle. This is the third vehicle involved in this pursuit. And again, if you're just joining us, this all started in Orange County in the Buena Park area after a home invasion 
the suspect stole a silver hatchback, Anaheim PD and Buena Park chasing him up the 5 freeway into LA County, onto the 110 freeway eventually where he got off at Manchester in the same area, got out of the vehicle and then carjacked an Audi. An Audi sports car, a, ma a wild chase with that Audi as, as we've witnessed here in the last half hour. And then after doing high speeds, upwards of 100 miles per hour up and down the 110 freeway onto the 105 freeway and into surface streets, the suspect gets out of the vehicle under an overpass and now we have the culmination of this pursuit in an entirely separate vehicle which must have been a coordinated, either a coordinated getaway or, or some other wild situation which we're going to have to wait to hear from law enforcement about. But it certainly appears that this was a coordinated getaway to some degree as he switched vehicles underneath the 110 freeway from an Audi, a stolen Audi, into a Mercedes and... Now you see that all culminating here at Firestone and Manchester Boulevard. Uh, just an incredible, incredible pursuit here. Uh, sure, let's go ahead, if we can, let's go ahead and take a look at the switcheroo. We were following a black Audi right there coming up on the 105 freeway. You see the night sun on him. The vehicle stops underneath he breaks you can see a hard break under the freeway never comes out the other side it was a good 30 seconds before we had any inkling that he was coming out on the other side on the north side of the 105 you see this extended pause with the night sun over the overpass and now he switched into a mercedes benz there it is that was the switch underneath the overpass the suspect jumped into a getaway vehicle and that is the vehicle that uh, contained several other suspects. So there must have been some kind of communication to meet up under, underneath that overpass and try and pull a fast one here. And boy, did he almost get away with it because the driving was so dangerous. You've seen how difficult it was for law enforcement to keep up, but they certainly were able to with remarkable precision and again, compliments of not one but two LA County Sheriff helicopters. Do you see a canine? There's a canine. What you're watching now is apparently a search for evidence as uh, LA County Sheriff's deputies shut down the interchange between Firestone Boulevard and Manchester where they believe a gun may have been tossed as the suspects fled that Mercedes and uh, that foot pursuit ensued. And now you can see canine units out here searching for any sign of a weapon or any other evidence that may have been tossed during that foot pursuit. You can see there's one of the dogs right there. Uh, again, about a dozen units at the end of this pursuit. What is nothing less than a wild and crazy chase. Yet another one here in the Southland. Again, if you're just joining us on abc7.com, welcome to recap what you're looking at. This is a pursuit that started in Orange County after a home invasion in Buena Park. The suspect stole at least one vehicle 
fled up the 5 freeway. Buena Park and Anaheim PD chasing the suspect into L.A. County at extreme speeds. Before ending up on the 105 freeway, L.A. County Sheriff getting involved with the pursuit, chasing him up and down the 105, back onto the 110 freeway at triple digit speeds. Then he got off at Florence Avenue. It was there where we thought the pursuit may be coming to an end. Instead, the suspect got out of a silver hatchback and carjacked a black Audi on Florence just off of the, 10, of the 110 freeway. At that point, a high-speed chase continued back down the other direction on the 105, on the 110 freeway, back onto the 105, onto surface streets. We saw a number of collisions, albeit minor collisions, no serious injuries that we are aware of. But eventually, as he was making his way, I believe, up northbound on Alameda, he stopped underneath the 105 freeway and met up with a getaway vehicle. That's where the Mercedes-Benz comes into play. Underneath the 105 overpass, the suspect dumped the Audi, got into the getaway vehicle, and that ch chase continued once again at, again, very dangerous speeds and, and at times even oncoming lanes of traffic. Just a, a, This is nuts. This is one of the craziest pursuits we've seen in a bit. So take it all with a grain of salt because there's lots of moving parts to this pursuit. But suffice it to say, at least four suspects in custody, a search for evidence underway, and several stolen cars during the course of this pursuit, not to mention a home invasion, which we will have a lot more to learn about in Buena Park. An incredible pursuit coming to an end here at Manchester and Firestone.